Hi there, it's Mr. Kinsella. I'm just making a quick video just to show you how to uh, sign up for your, your new Google Classroom. I know this is old news for some of you, but for the, uh, the, the parents with younger children, it's not. So I'll just take it from the beginning. So uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to sign in on a device uh, with your child's Prenton um, login. So if I, on, I'm on Google on my computer here, you can see that I'm signed in under my uh, Prenton Primary Teachers account. And our technician, Mr. Harper, has actually made me, excuse me, he's made me a, a sort of a, a child's one as well that I'm going to sign in under now. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to add another account. So what I now do is I'm going to sign in now. Let's get rid of that. Um, for our year one children, how you sign in with your child's account is it's 20, because your child started in 2020. So it's 20 first initial surname at Prenton Primary. And I'll show you how to do this bit. So the one that Mr. Harper's made for me is for Tom Smith. So Tom Smith doesn't exist, but he's going to exist for the next couple of minutes. So what I do is I type in 20 T Smith. So for your child, it'll be 20 and then whatever your child's name is. And then this bit stays the same for everyone. It's at Prenton Primary dot Wirral dot sch dot uk so that bit of it stays the same for everyone and then all that happens is that bit changes um for the year twos yours will be 19 for the year threes yours is 18 and so on and so forth and by the time you get up to year four five and six you've probably been signing in under these uh, addresses for quite some time now so you know what you're doing so you uh sign in like this and then next and then the password for the year ones is capital P and it's Prenton123. Um, it's not always the same for every year group. Some of you have got 123, some of you have got 1234, and there might even be some who have got 12345. So you'll know which one yours is anyway. But for the year ones, uh, that's how you sign in under your, your Prenton account. And then when I click on next, you can see here that it has all the different rules of you know, behaving yourself on the internet. So I accept all that. Uh, and it's asking me to create a new password. So I'm going to do that just now. Then I'm going to confirm it. And that's me. So you can see that I'm now signed in as this child, Tom Smith, at Prenton Primary. So I'm going to pretend that Tom Smith is in year one, even though he's not. So to get into the Google Classroom, remember it's just your different apps here in the corner. So I click on that and I go to Classroom, let it load up, and then to join a Google Classroom, uh, I'm a student. I know I'm not really, but I'm just pretending to be. Um, so to join a classroom, it's dead easy. You just click on join class and then there'll be a class code. Now, the class code for year one is, I've got it saved here on my phone. Uh, where are you? Come on, Mr. K, you're up. Right, so to get into the year one classroom, I need to type in 7 O. No, it's an O, not a zero. So letter you know, O for Oliver. Uh, five seven X Q Q. So that's the class code to join in. So when I do that, I type put join in here. It takes a little little moment. There you go. You can see I'm now part of the year one classroom and it's the year one 2021 and 22 we give it we, we start a new classroom each year and um, the way to check that i'm definitely in the right place so if i go to people i can see there that some of the teachers are already there so miss graham and miss evans are there um, i just keep an eye on each of the classrooms uh, as does mr curry as well um, but that's that now the stream 
doesn't have anything in there at the moment, uh, but that's when messages will start to appear as well. And then any classwork that gets set. Um, we do something called blended learning, which is where you get some of your homework will be in a book and some of it will be on here anyway. So that's how you that's how you do it. And you can see there, woohoo, no work due in soon. But there will be bits that come on there and that's how you sign in. Now, if you're on a device where you've got your own login and your child's going to be using it, obviously just make sure that whenever you, you don't want to be on your child's account, just in the corner here, you can just switch back to your one there. So that's me back on my teacher one. So if I want to do all my grown up bits and bobs, I'm on there. But if I ever want to get back onto Tom's account, I go on there. Uh, if I'm completely finished with this, then what I would then do is I would sign out of the, the Tom one. Uh, and that's that's how you do that anyway. So um, hopefully people have found that useful. Um, I would expect, as I've said, the older um, year groups to, to certainly know how to do this anyway. Um, and all of the codes for the year one, two, three, four, five and six classes are being sent out uh, via the parent app. Uh, it goes alongside with this video anyway. So that's that usual deal. If there are any problems, just uh, send the message in or, or uh, give a call or just ask and uh, either myself or uh, Mr. Green, usually are the, the two sort of go-to people for techie type things and we'll give you a hand to get you up and running. And uh, that's just so that you've got access to the classroom for uh, for the year. So hopefully people have found that quite useful. And uh, luckily, we'll, uh, hopefully even, we'll, we'll get some people uh, up onto the classroom in the next, the next few days. So thanks a lot and uh, goodbye for now.